As communities in western North Carolina continue to recover from the devastation left behind by Helene, one church in Swannanoa has become a central hub for relief efforts. Today, First Baptist Church of Swannanoa held its first Sunday service since the storm, but their work goes far beyond worship. You see, the church has turned into a major collection and distribution site for those in need. Fox 8's Elisha Skipper reports from the First Baptist Church, which is now a lifeline in the aftermath of the disaster. God gives you the strength when you need it, um, and I certainly have felt that all week. After Helene passed through God's country, First Baptist Church of Swannanoa has become ground zero for disaster relief. It is incredibly hard to see. It's hard to see people that you know personally who have lost their homes. Um, there are houses on our street next to our church that were on the other side of the road. Founded in 1885, First Baptist Church has seen its share of challenges, but nothing like this. With no running water and limited power, it's now a beacon of hope for Swannanoa's storm-ravaged community. When it started, uh, we had to ration bottles of water. So a family would come up, we had some, some hot food from people in the community started bringing food and we had some in our refrigerator and we had to give them four water bottles per family. Then it got down to two, then it was just one, and then we ran out. But as the days passed, the shelves started filling up. Donations poured in, food, water, toiletries, all thanks to donors and volunteers from across the state. Now the church delivers supplies to the most remote areas still cut off. There was a lady here yesterday that was volunteering with us who has been one of the ones we had to tell no to. And they came back and, and, and they were able to get what they needed eventually. The church isn't just a place for physical needs. It's also offering medical support. Volunteers with medical backgrounds like athletic trainer Kevin Jones have stepped up to provide care for the community he now calls home after moving from High Point seven years ago. On Wednesday, almost everybody was walking here. Um, then on Thursday, they made a very efficient drive through. Um, so we were seeing even more of the community be able to get in here. Um, and then we saw that's when it started to increase our flow of patients coming in to receive care. And the work here is far from over, with homes still buried in mud, entire streets washed out, and community members still unaccounted for. Volunteers say they'll be needed for weeks, if not months. One of the things that we're trying to ask is to just remember Swannanoa. Um, and really all of the mountains. Uh, it's been really difficult for many communities. In Swannanoa, Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News. And First Baptist Church of Swannanoa says they currently have more than enough supplies, so their focus has really shifted to distributing to those harder to reach areas. But what they do still need is monetary donations and volunteers to continue their relief efforts. They ask you to reach out at fbcswan.org.